This is a common mistake that I see a lot of new lifters make. It's something super simple, but when you get stronger, it can actually be quite dangerous. I'm going to be talking about the squat because that's where it's actually most applicable. But technically, any movement where you're taking a barbell out of a rack, similar kind of principles apply. And it's basically which way you're facing when you're trying to walk the bar in and out. And I don't mean are you on this side of the rack or that side of the rack. I mean, once you lift the bar up, do you have to step forward or step back? If you look at any weightlifters, powerlifters, they're always going to be doing this and they're gonna take their first steps backwards and then when they finish their set, they're gonna take steps forwards to get back in the rack. Some of the newer lifters sometimes think, okay, to get a bit more comfortable with the weight, I'm gonna just get under there and take my steps forward. I think we can all establish that walking forwards is easier than walking backwards. So when you've finished a set and you're very fatigued, you've now got to take steps backwards. It's so much easier to trip over or make a mistake. Also, you're double checking to make sure that you're actually in those Jacobs. You've now got to turn your head quite a lot further to make sure you're in a safe position compared to if you're front on. With the actual setup itself, a lot of the time people will try and really dig themselves deep into a, a tight position like this. When you're doing it the other way around, you run the risk of literally pushing the bar off the Jacobs before you even intend to do that. So that's another little reason why you should face this way around.